the government doesn't fund research, then who will? Because it's not a lucrative business. It's not something that private investors would want to spend their time oh, on. Oh, you don't think it would be to the advantage of private investors to fund research? It seems to me that all the medicines, prescription medicines, all of the technological inventions in medicine are all making a fortune for the drug companies and for the hospitals, etc. In fact, uh, Mrs. Clinton, among other things, denounces the drug companies for making so much money. So you can't have it both ways. I would say, you see, you can't today have a long-range investment. But you know what I mean by a long-range investment? It used to be the case, you know, that people signed 99-year leases, and they put money in, and they didn't expect to see the results for 20, 30 years. You couldn't dream of doing that today because everything now is so intermingled with government and pragmatism, and there's so much intervention in the system, you have no idea what force is going to decide to do what and whether your investment is wiped out overnight. And therefore, all of business has become a kind of hit and run, grab today and get out. And Americans, unfortunately, invest less than most other industrial countries, partly because of the taxes and because there's no stability here at all, comparably speaking. So you can't really judge today. Very few people would put money into a long-range investment under today's conditions. But at a time where you could put money in and you could believe the government is not going to expropriate this in this company, or make this whole industry illegal, or suddenly give it under the power of the Food and Drug Administration, etc., then the people did invest heavily in things like the Model T and look at computers, etc., from nothing. Uh, there are always people like Gates, you know, Bill Gates, with the vision and the power, but it's harder and harder and harder now. But investment is the way to get rich in research. That was always what funded it. Nobody can afford it now because they, you get expropriated before your money pays off. Or if it does pay off, the government comes in and says, this is an outrage. You're making a profit on people's sickness. So you can't win uh, at the back. Yeah.